How to encourage your man to be a better lover without hurting his feelings. How can a woman encourage her man to be a better lover? Many women and some men find it very difficult to discuss sex and satisfaction. But, with effective communication and experimentation, this can be overcome. Having said that, you should be very careful, as this is a very sensitive issue. Hi, welcome to my YouTube. My name is Getrude Mungai, a lifestyle designer on sex and relationships. I train women on how to improve their marriages and relationships. My mission is to save marriages one woman at a time. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Now back to how to encourage your man to be a better lover without hurting his feelings. Before you make any move, think about this. You must know what it takes for you to achieve an orgasm. Quite many women don't know what makes them go to cloud nine and assume it's the man's responsibility, which is not entirely true. He plays a big role, but it is also your responsibility to know how, so you both can create a conducive environment. For example, if you need a lot of foreplay, you must insist on it. While making love you need to know what triggers your orgasm, it could be clitoral, pleasure knob, or vaginal stimulation. Most women get off with clitoral stimulation, but it's always a bonus if you can achieve both. If you have never climaxed, then you and your man must start to explore. The location for the discussion is important. Choose a neutral place and avoid discussing any shortcomings in the bedroom, especially not before sex. Because this is where lovemaking takes place, you don't want him to associate it with failure in that department. Try a place where you both relax like the living room. Timing is also very important. For example, don't initiate the discussion when a football match has just started. How to go about it. To encourage your man to be a better lover, you must introduce the topic lightly. Don't use the classic, we need to talk. This always puts men in defensive mode. Instead, start with a probing question like, do you think we have too much sex? Now that you have his attention, move on to the positive things he does as opposed to the ones he's lousy at. For example, I love the way you kiss me instead of, I hate quickies. If you start on the latter, he will be stuck on it. No matter what else you say, he will not hear you. You can also be hands-on during lovemaking, for example, if your breasts are too sensitive. Don't push his hand away, that is rude and insensitive. Instead, move it to a more pleasurable place with a cheeky smile. If his pace is too slow or too fast during lovemaking, hold his waist and direct him accordingly. If you are more likely to get a pleasure knob orgasm, then you must position yourself by arching your hips upward so that as he is thrusting, the pleasure knob can be stimulated. You could also put a pillow under your bum. Feedback is key. As he is stimulating you by touch, please give feedback in terms of how gentle he should be or how fast or slow he should move. Do not hold back if you have to moan or groan. It's okay. Finally, when he does a good job, please compliment him. Ladies, what works for you? Please leave a comment below, and if you like the video, kindly like and subscribe for more content like this.